this is not going to be the usual. I did promise you three years ago that we are going to give new impetus to the space around sports, youth, creatives, and the whole industry around art. And that's why I am really happy today to preside over the state concert for the finalists of the Kenya National Drama and Film Festival. I have had occasion to watch your performances in the past, before COVID-19, uh, that I think was in Bungoma. I also did in 2018 and 2019, and I have first-hand experience of the quality of your performances. And I have no doubt in my mind that it is world class. I have watched with satisfaction the latent talent, and I am convinced that there is a lot to achieve in performing arts. I have enjoyed the performance. We have been educated on a lot of pertinent and contemporary issues that continue to affect our society. Drama operates at the level of aesthetics and morality. Some of the themes presented here touch society to the core. And many of the performances here have spoken to very critical aspects of what we are as a society. I listened to the girls from Matuga in Kuale, and they are speaking to the core of what is hurting our nation, especially our young people. Many young people in Kenya today go through many challenges. Parents, you know, uh, religious leaders, government is seized with the real challenge of millions of our young people who get lured into drugs and we lose talent, we lose um, opportunity, and we lose human capital that can drive our country into the future. Continue to demonstrate what is wrong with what happens when our young people get involved in drugs, continue to expose what's happening in all our spheres of life, whether it's in school, whether it's in uh, places of work, or indeed anywhere else.